Hello parents, my name is Jeff Penix. I'm the principal here at Woodcrest. The intent of this video is to show you the variety of ways that students can be picked up and dropped off at our school. We really want to try to enhance the pick up and drop off areas that are available and make people aware of those because the more people that utilize those, the easier the congestion will be for everyone. One of the key points to point out, I think, regarding pick up and drop off is bus service is available to many of our students. I would encourage as many people as possible to take advantage of the bus service because certainly that lessens the congestion. For those who will pick up and drop off students, one thing to point out this year also is we will have an extended drop off time in the morning. Students will be able to be dropped off beginning at 8.20 and we will have supervision on hand and that will provide an 18 minute drop off window for us because we open the doors at 838, five minutes before school starts to admit the, the students into the building. So once again, if everyone takes advantage of that extended window, we all don't have to come at the last minute, the congestion is lessened. And also, as you'll see later in this video, if you choose some of the alternative spots, congestion will be lessened a great deal because there are many ways to access the school. One of the key things that we always point out as far as picking up and dropping off students, and you'll hear it in the video clips multiple times, is making sure students enter and exit the vehicle on the curbside for their safety. So I ask for your cooperation with using these alternative uh, drop-off points, and we look forward to a great school year. Parents, this alternative spot is right here at the back of our school. It connects via Campau, which is a street that runs to the back of our property, and it is marked with signage. As you can see from this shot, students would literally connect with that point by walking directly through our playground. Now for parents, it's a great drop-off point because as you would head south on Campo, students could get off at the curbside, and then as soon as the students exit the vehicle, parents could continue in their vehicles straight down and connect with Saginaw Road. So a very easy pick up and drop off point for parents. Okay, parents at this location I'm standing in, um, at southbound on Camp Howe. And as you can see, this is the spot that you would look for. When you see that crosswalk, you could have students get out on the curbside and they would literally walk right up a path to the, our playground and would be connected with our property in a matter of seconds. For the motorist, as I've referenced before, when you drop off your students, the nice part about this location, you continue on down Campo and you connect right with Saginaw Road and you're on your way. Parents, under normal conditions, when people are entering the parking lot, you'll see here out on Drake Street, cars that are lined up in both directions waiting to turn into our parking lot. And as you'll see here by our demonstration, they just take turns entering into the parking lot. If they are going to drop off students, they make their way up to the curbside. And as you can see, this vehicle has not yet reached the curbside, but once it does, our parking lot attendant would continue to wave the vehicles up as far as possible so as many can enter the parking lot at once as possible. And then the students, of course, get out only on the curbside. Parents, at this location I'm on the corner of St. Mary's and Drake and as you can see if you would travel westbound on St. Mary's the students would be able to get off once again at curbside, would not have to cross any lanes of traffic, traffic and then would be able to once they reach this intersection travel right down Drake Street and they would walk past five homes and then they would be on to Woodcrest property. So once again just another alternative pickup and drop off location. Parents, I'm st standing uh, northbound on Drake Street, and as you can see from this sign, parking is allowed beyond this sign all the way down to our bus circle. And it's an excellent pick up and drop off location because students can enter and exit the vehicle on the curbside. They do not have to cross lanes of traffic, and you can continue right on your way down Drake Street. Please pay attention, however, if you do use this location, that to be a good neighbor, obviously it's only permitted from this sign and north of this sign. We do not want to block the neighbor's driveways. At this location, I'm standing on the corner of Gabriel and Drake Street. It's literally right across from the school. And parents, if you travel westbound on Gabriel, once again, your student is able to enter and exit the vehicle 
curbside. And it's an excellent spot. The students, when they would get out of the vehicles, would literally get on the sidewalk, walk to where our crossing guard would be, the city uh, posted crossing guard, then cross Drake Street right in front of the school, and of course then they'd be on school property, would make their way to the proper entrance door. At this location, I'm standing on the eastbound side of Dillaway Street. And as you can see, parents, from this sign continuing down the road uh, in, in an eastbound fashion, another alternative pickup and drop-off point. Students can enter and exit the vehicle on the curbside, and just you would continue right on down Dillaway Street. Parents, now that you've viewed the video, please feel free to call the school office at 923-7940 if you have any questions or concerns about picking up or dropping off students at school and obviously any other questions that you may have just in general about your students' experience here at Woodcrest. We thank you for your cooperation. And we look forward to a great school year.